Yo, good morning people. It's currently 6.30 in the morning and I'm about to set off on a journey to SA. So make sure to stay tuned and watch this video with me. Currently I'm still in my ghetto so I'm just trying to find the guy who's gonna take me like my taxi kind of thing because he doesn't know where my house is. So let's see. So we just completed the check-in process. Now we're just waiting for the bus to arrive and um, everything else looks fine because um, the bus should be arriving in like five minutes. No, not five minutes actually. In like eight o'clock the bus was supposed to arrive but now it's already uh, 20 past eight and the bus is not yet here. So I'm just waiting for the bus to arrive and uh, we'll see uh, what time it's going to arrive. So in the meantime, I can just uh, go around here yeah, and show you what we got around because um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the other buses that we have in this road port. So here we got like um, a lot of buses. We have like city bus. Um, I don't know how to call it. Like a lot of buses here, like uh, Weber bus. DC coaches, I don't know, in Indiana, ah yeah, DNC coaches, we've got city bus, there's actually a lot of buses here, and I'm just looking for mine, but my bus, and for some reason, my bus is not yet here, so you can see here we have Chiwa Towers, I used to take this bus um, like five years ago when I used to come here, and we've got a lot of buses actually going to Cape Town here, all oh, these buses, go world travel or something, something, I don't know and yeah but my bus is called tamuka and that's the one we're waiting for so we're gonna see uh if the bus arrives uh like anytime soon <laughs> so this is me getting ready to move but i don't know where my bus is it's not here for some reason but there are a lot of buses here like literally <laughs> around me it's all buses just take a look at that no bus, but my bus is not here. The only bus that's important is not here. Uh, so this is like the road port. As you can tell, like you can't come inside here. But there are like a lot of people inside and all the companies that make the buses. I think like I can't film inside, but there's like a lot of buses here. And a lot of, uh, how do I call it, food, you see? Like chicken in inside. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the bus that I'm gonna be taking. Uh, they just arrived. I got the bags inside already. Okay, so my bus is here. As you can see, the Muka coaches. I already put the luggage inside and we're about to go in. So it's gonna be an interesting journey. Looks like a nice bus inside, yeah. To get here. Got the blue, the blue bus, you know, blue is my favorite color. So, you know, we're gonna be fitting very well. So, this one's gonna be fun. Let's go check in. I think we're gonna do the first seat. We literally I'm gonna be driving this seat. Seat number five. I'm wondering. Because usually Okay, so we are fully boarded now and uh, we're leaving. If you can see behind me, this is uh, the road port here. We just left it. And we're going, so I'm gonna show you the bus a bit later, but kind of tired now and I'm thinking of eating something or taking a nap. We'll see how it goes. But the bus is not full, there's a lot of space and uh, I feel like it's a very good bus and the service quality is really good. So, cables off. So, this is the city of Harare and we're leaving it.
Thanks for watching me guys. So, I'll catch up with you later. Let's see what we do now. I'll probably enjoy some music, you know. Unfortunately, right now, I can't listen to you know, my music because my young is application it doesn't work anymore because of meditation. So, this is what I'm going to do. So we're now in Chagitu and uh, this place is called GMB and you see the tall towers. These are like the storage containers. Look how big they are. And you can even see here there are a lot of people on the streets selling maize because uh, this is the place where people come to if you're looking for maize. You should remember like our national food is Saza. So they come here to get the millies. Actually, I think people buy a lot and sell them somewhere. And you can usually see like the different types of uh, grains there, like the brown one, definitely not maize. It's probably something else, I don't know what it is exactly. But it looks like people in the city do this a lot. And I don't know if you can see, we got some cabbages over there. Kind of a plantation. One person is only watering them. It's hot outside, and I don't know how. Do people manage to do agriculture in this weather? Like the whole month of August, of uh, October, sorry, it's going to be this hot. It's just crazy. In the city where I was born, the name of the city is Kwe Kwe. Yeah, this is the city where I was born. You can see behind me is the bus with which I came. Yeah, well, not I came, but the bus I'm on because you're not yet there. And uh, this is the place I was actually born. and been a while so probably I'll come back here just to actually visit it so yep I gotta go back to the bus otherwise this bus is not waiting for anybody if you are late so now I'm gonna try to find um, airtime for my for my phone because I need to buy some more internet <laughs> just arrived uh, at the border border post so let's go see oh, I just finished putting the stamp in my passport and you know sitting in the front has its own advantages because now look at the big queue behind me and the building is far 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 down the line but I already got the stamp so yeah that was quick the stamp in the passport on the Zimbabwean side 
Now we're going to the other side and we're gonna meet the bus. You can see the blue bus behind me. This one, this is my bus. And here you kinda of have to walk to catch the bus <laughs> somewhere down there. So it's been an interesting uh, 12 hours almost because we went around here picking more people around the Zimbabwe basically. But yeah, everything is good now. We are finally at the border and in a couple of minutes uh, it will be over here and we'll be going over to the South African side. So yeah, let's see how it happens and uh, let's wait for the bus. So here we've got a tab that says thank you for visiting Zimbabwe. So of course you're welcome Zimbabwe, I visited you. <laughs> Thank you for visiting Zimbabwe. Yeah. Thank you for visiting me to Zimbabwe. Okay, it's kind of invented, but it's like, thank you for visiting Zimbabwe. It's kind of invented. I don't trust people with my camera, so I ain't gonna give anybody. But if so you can see here, we got the motto. It says, Unity Freedom Work. I'm gonna try to see if I can mirror this one. But yeah, it's fun to go that side and wait for the bus. The bus is not moving. You can see that bus? That's my bus, the blue one. And it's not moving. But when it moves, I have to catch it somewhere down there. Some kind of shed. Definitely here. You see, a lot of people are waiting. One bus coming. Thames Logistics. You can see the owners are attacking their bus. <laughs> now let's wait for mine. So we are through the border side on Zim side. And now we are leaving to the South African side. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but this is the Limpopo somewhere. So we must be crossing the Limpopo River right now in a couple of minutes. There are some soldiers over there. And Oh, I can't really see outside right now, but it looks like, yeah, we are on the bridge. Oh yeah, now this is the Limpopo River, we're now crossing it. Unfortunately, it's dark and you can't see anything. Famous Limpopo. A lot of crocodiles, you know, people cross the border illegally by swimming across this river. Currently, in this place called Seattle, I don't know the name of this place, but you can see like Seattle coffee. And uh, I just got myself something to drink, so I got like. <laughs> some food and drinks and chocolate also and it's like a 20 minutes it says so I feel like walking uh, because like too much sitting literally the whole day of sitting it's kind of crazy but yeah and she got my bus right behind me so I think it's time to go back and uh, just sit back relax until tomorrow probably this time I'll try to sleep because it's already like in the midnight couple of minutes.
been a tiresome journey. I didn't make videos, uh, a lot of videos about this one, just because uh, I was sleeping all the way and it's kind of tiresome and uh, annoying to make videos in the in the bus. I don't know why, but yeah, it's been a nice journey though. I like the bus. See, they are washing it. Yeah. Wow. Just got some sprinkles of water on my face. I got a little truck here. I think my, my jet truck is somewhere there, probably. Unfortunately, no, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, this is like a truck stop, pure place. You said never let me go. just because you love eating that's exactly what almost happened because I was getting this dead boy and the chicken is finished and uh, we have to wait for a long time <laughs> for them to cook it but yeah we got it now and let's go eat so this is the full scope of the bus that we are on nice pick me and the bus Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you
now I can see my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky We are heroes tonight yeah. We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky We are heroes